In medieval times, people came to Ely to visit the shrine of Etheldreda. Etheldreda was a Saxon princess who, because she felt she was called to a religious life, left her husband, King Egfrid, and came to Ely to found the first double monastery here, a monastery of men and women in 673 AD. And there are lots of stories of her journey down here. And one of these was when she stopped to rest for the night and she planted her staff in the ground next to her. And when she woke in the morning, it had blossomed into the most beautiful tree. Because of these miracles and because of her Christian example, people came to believe that she was a saint. And when she died in Ely, people started to come to visit. But getting to Ely was no mean feat, because in those days there were no roads, and Ely was surrounded by marshes and swamps, so that all the people who were travelling had to come by boat. So it was a long, hard, wet journey. And pilgrims came to ask for forgiveness. They came to seek guidance if they had a difficult decision to make. They came to give thanks, perhaps. Or they came to ask for healing. In 870, the Danes destroyed that monastery. And this cathedral that we're standing in now was built in the 11th century by Benedictine monks. But sadly, Etheldreda's shrine was destroyed in the Reformation. Yet people still continue to visit Ely today as pilgrims, just as they did all those years ago. Why have you come here today? As well as enjoying the wonderful building, what is it that your soul is searching for, longing for, Underneath the great east window, there is a statue of Etheldreda. Why not light a candle there and offer to God whatever it is that you are seeking today?